Look at the amount of water all over my table. That's insane. What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So today's gonna be a fun, exciting video. We are going to be digging into a brand new grinder. I haven't even opened it yet. I got the Gryphon convertible grinder. So my old grinder is making that dreaded sound where you know everything is about to stop spinning. It's seizing up. So I got a new one ready. I've had this thing for about a week and a half already. Have not even untaped it. So we're going to dig into this grinder. I'm gonna give you all of my thoughts and opinions on it, test it out and let you know what I think. So if that sounds like something you're into, let's get started. Okay, so before we crack into this, you can see right on the outside of the box, obviously it says Gryphon Convertible Grinder. It's a grinding table that converts from flat to inclined in seconds. You can sit or stand while grinding. You have a clear view of your work if you have it at an incline. There's a new powerful electric pump that delivers water straight to the bit at all times, which is amazing. This thing has a five year warranty and it includes a one inch and a quarter inch diamond bit. And it has the removable second story platform and the face shield. So this is definitely a bit of an upgrade to my old grinder, but I had mentioned this to somebody that had commented on one of my other videos, but I like my grinders to be small and compact because I want them to fit inside my grinding bin. So I want my office to be as clean and neat as I can at all times. So I don't keep my grinders out or my ring saw. I put them in bins and in the basement. And when I need to grind, I'll bring them up here, do that, clean up, put them back downstairs. So point being, I like my grinders to be small. I'm hoping this is going to be still small enough to fit inside that bin. So it's been a week and a half that I've had this thing kicking around. I'm so excited to crack into it. Let's do it. Okay, so right on the top, obviously we've got our little directions or warranty, I imagine, blah, blah, blah. What's inside, operating instructions. Okay, so we'll keep that to the side because I think we're gonna need it. Um, with this having that new pump, instead of having to use a sponge, I don't know how to do that. So definitely gonna keep the directions handy. Now, there's the inside of the box. Grinders right here. Obviously we've got foam on each side, so I'm probably gonna have to flip this upside down to get it out. I don't wanna ruin the box just in case if something ever happened, I needed to return it or exchange it. I've got the box in good shape. This is a lot bigger. So right off the bat, this is so, so, so much bigger than the other grinder that I had, which I don't remember exact model, but I'll pop it up right here what my other one was. This is a lot bigger than I anticipated, not gonna lie. So I guess I can retake my statement back on getting this, hoping it would be a small one, because this is big. This is way bigger than my other one. So anyway, first thing you see right here is the face shield. So we're gonna put that right to the side until we need it. Okay, so it is pretty lightweight. Even though it's big, it's definitely lighter than it looks, I guess. So this is the front, here's our plug. It already has our one inch bit installed right here. This little plastic piece on the top, you could just pop off. But I'm assuming everything else is inside, yep. So a nice big removable brake. Look at that, my other one was probably half the size of this. So popping off the top, put that next to the face shield. This is gonna be the secondary platform and probably our second bit. So we've got our secondary platform and it also looks like it comes with a couple extra sponges, which I'm super happy about. What I usually do is I'll save my soldering sponges. So I order the actual soldering sponges that come super flat pancaked, the blue or yellow ones, and then they kind of thicken up once you put them under water, but I save those and end up cutting them to use for my grinder because they're nice and long. So I feel like it covers the majority of the bit, which I like. So I'm always happy to get some actual grinding sponges. So inside here, we've got our grinding sponges, our secondary platform, and then we've got a bag of a bunch of little random things. So I think this is everything we're gonna need to actually set up our face shield and all that fun stuff. I'm just gonna quickly read the directions to see how we put all this stuff together. I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, so before we get started, let's just quickly go over everything that comes in. Again, obviously here's our grinder, which I do wanna mention, it has handles on both sides of the grinder, which I find is fantastic. I love these handles built right into the side, makes it super easy to pick up, dump out the water, clean, whatever you need to do. And again, it's not that heavy, so I love that. So we've got our grinder, obviously our little grate right here. The hose is already attached. We've got our one inch bit in here, our secondary raised platform, face shield, sponges, quarter inch bit, fuse, Allen wrench. This is our hose, basically a hose guide, so it'll kind of stick into our grate and help direct the hose if we need it to. These two pieces right here, I have no idea. So if anyone knows down in the comments below, again, I looked online and the directions or guides for this kind of stuff is few and far between. So I'm assuming this might be for cleaning something. We'll see if we figure it out. Okay, future me knows what this is for. So keep watching the video if you wanna find out. All I had to do was read the directions. And these are all pieces to hold up our face shield in the back, so. Let's get started on putting this bad boy together. The secondary raised platform is generally used when you use your quarter inch or smaller bit. So normally people will stack these on top of each other, but personally, I don't like to do that. If I'm gonna use a smaller quarter inch or whole bit, I'm going to remove the one inch or whatever size I have on and replace it with the smaller one using one bit at a time. I personally do not like to stack bits, that's just me, which means I'm never going to use this secondary raised platform, most likely. So we're just going to put these to the side, but if you did wanna use it, simply click it in right in between where your bit is. So if you stack bits on top of each other, your quarter bit is gonna sit right there and there's a hole where your bit goes and you simply just click it in place just like your normal um, grate right here. So we're just gonna put these to the side. Now let's build our face plate. So this is pretty easy. You just wanna take your main piece first and you're gonna slide your rubber pieces in. Forgive me, this might take me a second because I'm doing it backwards to be able to show you guys. But all you do is just slide those little rubber pieces down into their slots, just like that. Because generally, you're gonna be standing on this side. This is going to catch the glass splashing backwards. So we're just gonna sit it right back here and snap it in place, just like that. So now we gotta take our legs for our face shield and you want your hooks to be facing the back. So see how these are hooks? You want that open facing to be facing the back of the grinder. So we're going to slip them right in place. There's two holes right on top. All you do is just slide them right in, grab your face plate and snap those in those hooks. Just like that. Now we've got a beautiful face shield and it's tight enough where it stays wherever you place it, which is fantastic. So if I want it right there, it's gonna stay there on its own. I love that. I'm so excited to actually have a nice face shield. So you can get rid of this. Okay, so now we're at the back of the grinder. This is that hole I was talking about. So all we're gonna do is take our hose, thread it right through that hole, and now it will be perfectly feeding water to our grinding bit, theoretically. We'll see how this goes. Again, before I even tried this, I know I have a feeling I'm gonna end up wanting to use the sponge. See if that hose isn't perfectly bent which I'm sure we can kind of manipulate it a little bit. Please excuse my plain nails. I didn't want to grind off new polish. I had to do them just this morning. I didn't want to mess it up already. I'm sure if we bend it, it will be okay, but I don't know how well this is gonna work. I guess it depends how much water comes out of that hole and how fast, but that's where the hole is. Back to the front view. Okay, so now that we've got the basics done, we've got our face shield set up. Say we wanted to transfer, transform this into the slanted or the convertible version, it's super easy. So all you have to do is flip it on its side. Again, I'm doing this backwards so you guys can see. This is the bottom of our grinder right here. And right here, there's a little screw. All you have to do is unscrew it until it releases, flip it upside down, and we're going to reattach it. Mm -hmm. 
Easy as that. Now it's at a fantastic slant. Look at that, you guys, how cool is that? Like, is that not the neatest thing ever? If that doesn't make grinding glass not just easier, but fun, I don't know what would. This is making me so excited to grind glass, which, not gonna lie, is my least favorite part. But look at how easy that is and how cool is that? Now I could literally stand straight up and down, not kill my back grinding glass. That is amazing. So I do think I should switch it back to the normal version first, just while I'm testing it out. So I'm going to switch it back to the flat version, then fill it up with water. Okay, so I think I just found out what this is for. So it says down here in assembly and prep for use, number eight, Place the supplied filter material in area provided in front of pump inlet in the upper base of the grinder. This filter material should be flushed with fresh water regularly to keep it clean. Replacement filter material can be obtained at aquarium supply stores. Keeping the filter clean and in place and removing residue from the water supply tray will help prolong the pump life, and if the pump should become clogged, it can often be cleared by blowing into the hose from the grinding bit end. Okay, so right down here is our water hose inlet. So our water supply is gonna get sucked in right there. So it says to place it in front, but that's not gonna stay on its own. Do I place it like sideways? Am I supposed to shove that in there? or the filter, oh, like that, just like that. So it kind of wedged it up against that left foot, just like that. So now we're ready, we know what everything is. We're gonna fill this up as much as possible without overflowing. Okay, so water is full, grates on, face shields on. I've stuck my hose into our little back hole here. I'm trying to get it to twist so it sits directly in the back of the middle of the grinding bit, but it just wants to keep twisting back, so I don't know how much I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna bring you back here so you guys can get the first shot view of plugging it in. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep the hose kind of pulled back a little bit so you guys can see exactly how much water goes through. I'm gonna plug it in right now. Whoa, so much water is getting kicked up. That's too much water. We need a sponge back there. Okay, so that's a buttload of water getting splashed around. So to solve that, I'm gonna lift this up, dunk our sponge in just to get it wet, and let's sit our sponge back here. And hopefully that will kind of alleviate some of that splash back. Cause I want this hose to do its job, you know what I mean? Look at all that water. What the heck? I think we need to make some adjustments. Look at this. Look at that, all that water. That's insane. An absolute mess. All right, so let's see if we put our hose back down into the basin and use just the sponge. Beautiful, okay, so it's this. This thing sprays out a lot of water, guys. That is a lot of water coming from that hose, too much. So I'm gonna use it just like I suspected I would. I've tucked the hose right back into the water basin so it's redirecting the water back inside. What I'm gonna do is just simply use the sponge like an old fashioned grinder. I knew I was gonna like it that way anyway. Let's turn this guy around and get to actually testing this thing out. Look at the amount of water all over my table. That's insane. And I had to remove water from the basin. They said, fill it up as much as possible without it overflowing. Are you kidding me? Who, who the hell? Okay, so I did read in the directions that if you wanted, you could put the hose up against the sponge, which I kind of like the idea of. So even though I wanna use the sponge, I can keep the hose directing clean water into the sponge at all times. So if you've ever used a coarse grit, um, a coarse grit bit before, then you know that sometimes it chews up so much glass, even the sponge is not producing enough water to keep the bit wet. So I like the idea of adding extra fresh water into the back of the sponge. We know that this sponge is gonna stay soaked 
at all times and that's not making an absolute mess like it did with just the hose itself. Cool, so I think we're gonna try it just like this. Sponge in the back, hose going directly into the back of the sponge. I think that's our best bet. So, I've got my safety glasses on. I've got a fresh water bucket to the right here so I can put my freshly ground pieces inside the water before I take it to a sink to get them the final rinse. Let's try this baby out. I've got my face shield facing down. Hopefully that will protect my makeup from any further water damage. Let's try it out. Wow, this is nice, you guys. This is really nice. This is really smooth. Do you hear how quiet that is? I'm not even gonna turn down the audio. This is how loud it is. That's so quiet. So quiet, so smooth. This is amazing. Guys, I'm so excited. And this is just with the flat version. We could tip it up sideways if we want to, making it even easier. Wow, guys, I'm really, really impressed and happy with this. I'm excited. This is, this is really, really nice. Again, it is so quiet, it is so smooth, so effortless. There's no skipping or jumping. Of course, a lot of that has to do with the bit provided, but still, this is fantastic. The amount of water being pumped into that sponge is gonna make all the difference in the world when it comes to um, the dust and glass shards flying off the grinder, which have been virtually nothing, which honestly is the big reason I put my grinders inside a bin in the first place. This is a game changer. Look at all the glass shards that that face shield caught and I've only ground one piece. That is fantastic. Let me get you guys a little bit, little bit closer for this last piece to get a good look. I don't know why I didn't anticipate loving this thing as much as I do, but I'm really impressed. I'm so excited. Let me get myself cleaned up so we can talk about this thing in a final little wrap up here. Okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. It's already gone on long enough. I'm going to leave a part two or an update, I guess, up to you guys. If you guys wanna see a part two to this, maybe using the secondary floor and using it slanted, maybe using the stacked bits like you're supposed to, let me know. I can definitely film that, I would love to. Let me know in the comments below, but I love this thing. I, like I said, I'm already so impressed. It is beautifully quiet, so quiet, so nice for those people using these maybe in an apartment, just getting going. It's so quiet, so smooth. I'm thoroughly impressed in all those little things like the extra two bits that it comes with, the sponges, the fuse, the face plate, the handles on the side, the automatic water feeder makes this thing so worth it. It's right around the $200 price point, so you can't go wrong with that. And it's got a five year warranty. I'm sure you gotta fill something out online. I'll look into that and let you guys know in the description below, but you can't beat that. For 200 bucks, this is a very nice, well-built machine, and I think this thing is gonna last me for years to come. So. I'm super impressed, absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see a part two or an update to this, and I will definitely do that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link everything down below, including this grinder. If you wanna check out my stained glass work and my stained glass business, that will be linked down below too. And if not, I will see you next time. Bye.